Records, 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 records,
here is our before and after. Now I've gone way too far with the noise reduction. So if you learn this software and you play around with these sliders and actually read the manual, it tells you how to get some really good results. And the automatic results pretty damn good as well. But I want more control than that. I want to be able to say, how about I want full crazy noise reduction in this background to keep that super clean, which I do. But I want to add only a mild amount of noise reduction to his skin. Because what happens is we obviously turn him into plastic, we lose all this detail. And even though we have these sharpening capabilities, which are really quite advanced and excellent, um, I want more control than that. So, like I said, before Edius had this plugin available, all I did was rendered out this shot with super duper noise reduction values. So, once you render that out, you'll have two exactly the same video uh, files in length. And uh, what I'm going to do now in Edius, or you can use any NLE you like that supports alpha channels, alpha mats, and track matting. Um, basically, we have one shot here, which is nice and sharp, color graded, but it's full of noise. We have another shot here, which is not so sharp, um, but it's very clean and has very minimal noise. In fact, it virtually has no noise at all. The problem is his skin is starting to look a little plastic, especially his hair, etc. So what we want to be able to do is say, only allow noise reduction to be applied to everything except his skin. Well, in varying amount. So let's go ahead and have a look at how to do that. So what I'm going to do now is drop the noise reduction clip on the bottom track. I need three video tracks here. And on the top track, I'm going to add noise. So that's the original shot with super noise. And let's just get rid of that time code. In the middle, I'm just going to duplicate that noisy track and put it there. So as you can see now, there are nothing, nothing has changed. But what I want to do is create a track map. So if we turn off the top layer and the bottom layer, and we go to effect, we use a filter called chrominance. Now you can use any filter that your NLE allows you to create a black and white mat. Sorry about that. And in this case, um, Edius's only way to do that is to use chrominance. So let's double click on chrominance. And what we can do is just use this eyedropper tool and just click on his skin. Make sure you sh show the key so we can actually see what values we've selected. So there we have a range of color and luminance that has been selected with this tool. We can go into our values here and we can sort of bring that back a little bit because we really only want his skin to be selected. Now we don't have to actually pull a very clean mat because we can blur the hell out of it. For this um, example, we don't actually need a super clean mat. We actually want a nice blurry mat. So if we leave show key turned on, now we have a really cool animated track mat. Great. So how are we going to use that? Well, let's use this little thing called track mat. Now basically what we want Edius to do, or your any NLE to do, is to use that middle track as a transparency guide for the top track. So what we want is anything that's white, we want to be blocked and anything that's black we want to shine through and that's exactly how this track mat works when you have it based on luminance. So if we go to that track mat we can see that it is based on luminance, good. And let's just have a quick look without fiddling around at uh, the result. So as you can see here we have super duper clean, very very clean background, a super duper clean white top but we have a lot of detail left on his skin because that's the transparency that we just created. Now the problem is it's a little too much, but the cool thing is now we can just go to that top layer, uh, change the opacity, and boom, now we have a really nice shot. As if I actually shot it with the correct exposure on the day. So you could be a lot more careful with that and do a much better job and you can you know, vary the degree of noise that we're introducing onto the guy's skin. So you can use neat video even if you don't have it as a plugin and you can use it in advanced ways. So what if it was available as a plugin um, and now it damn well is. Thank you very much Neat Video. Another big shout out to Neat Video. Um, I downloaded their software and I noticed a couple of problems and bugs with it, wrote to them and within two days they rewrit the software and fixed it. That's pretty damn awesome and pretty damn rare actually. So thanks Neat Video. Anyway, so now it is a native plugin within Edius. So what we're gonna do is go and use the same tool we used before because what I wanna do is pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to do it with one video layer and with more control and freedom this time. So the beauty of it being a native codec means we don't have to use track mats and alpha channels. So what we can do is we want to apply neat video to all of the background, everything but his skin in varying degrees. So let's go ahead, throw on chrominance on the top of that, double click chrominance. And uh, actually before we do that, it's very important to note that Edius only likes neat video to live above the layout tool. So make sure you 
put your filter above the layout tool when using noise reduction. So we'll open Chrominance because we want to put Need Video only on a selected portion of our image. We can use this eyedropper tool to select his skin. We actually want to select everything but his skin, right? Because we want to put the noise reduction on everywhere else but his skin. So one way to do that would just be to use the eyedropper and click around. But the problem with that is, notice how we also, according to this um, key, will be applying every... But notice how we'll be applying our noise reduction to everything black, which means we're going to be, we're going to be... But the problem with the eyedropper tool is it's not very accurate sometimes and it doesn't exactly do what you want to do. I want to select everything but this guy's skin. So an easier way to do that, I found, is to use this uh, plotted vector scope of colors. Now if we just click on that, press histogram, we can actually see where all the colors and luminance are plotted on our image. The cool thing is we just use this little slider and for example if I was to select this guy's skin I just push it into the realm of orange and red and boom there we have his skin but I want everything but that. So then quite simply we just slide it down here expand it out a little bit, rotate it and there's everything but the guy's skin. Something you can't exactly do with the eyedropper well not very easily anyway. So it's a really good technique to know how to use. Now the edges of our key need to be softened a little bit so let's go to our color tab, go down to the alpha and just slide that up and beautiful here we have our key. Now remember anything that's black will retain noise and anything that's white will be heavily noise reduced. So if we had it like this, you would see a very hard edge between no noise and harsh noise. But what we want to do is soften it because we want that to not be visible. We still want to retain detail, but we're going to try and do it in a fashion that is not, um, you know, it doesn't look like that we've selected certain realms of noise reduction. So this is looking pretty good for now. We can then go to the effect and blur the actual alpha channel itself, which is pretty cool as well. And then what we're going to do is turn our key off and place the noise reduction filter inside neat video and go set up and just like we saw earlier we have the same looking piece of software it's just a idiotified pretty cool huh so we press auto profile and we move our little slider into a range and we press auto fine tune but sometimes neat video is too conservative for my liking so then we go into the noise filter settings and we can just crank up that noise reduction to an extreme amount press apply press OK and press OK. So now we have one video file with one filter and we've selectively added noise reduction to our clip. So how cool is that? Our clean black blacks with virtually no noise at all, well there literally is no noise at all. Then we still have detail on his face which is pretty damn cool as well. Now if you want to refine that key and say alright I want to add a little bit less noise to his face, a little bit more noise reduction, go back into your chrominance Go back into show key, and what you could do is expand the softness of that key to something like this. And that way you're going to get a bit more of a subtle result, remembering that anything that's pure black will have full noise, anything that's pure white will have full noise reduction. So, you could even blur the absolute hell out of it and now we have a selective noise reduction. What a powerful tool. Thank you Neat Video for adding that, um, adding native support in Edius. It's really, really powerful. But like I said in the earlier example, um, even if you don't have it built in, you can still use it uh, just by rendering both footages out. So you've got your noise free and your noise. So let's have a look at the before and after. Uh, here we have, oh, we may as well make this full screen. So uh, here we have the original shot, which is very underexposed. We have about three stops. Then we've added some color correction, made it nice and sharp, and you know, basically brought it up to the exposure level that I wanted with a bit of a grade as well. And then I went ahead and completely denoised that to the extreme. And then thirdly, I've just added a little bit of detail back into his face. And uh, now you can see the before and after. You know, it's not amazing, but with time it could be. And basically, this is just going to expand your post capabilities, which I feel are very, very important. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and I didn't go too fast. Bit of a crazy mood today, so excuse me for that. But um, there's more tutorials coming. Thanks for listening. Check out my blog, mattscottvisuals.com. And uh, also I'll have this um, 
this video online as well so you can actually uh, have a look at it in high resolution in a proper frame rate. But thanks again to Noel for letting me uh, show your face so close up. It's just a really good example of noise reduction. Hopefully you'll never have to use this technique, but if you do, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope it was useful. Thanks again, guys. Bye.